Distinguished delegates, it is a pleasure for me to address you on the occasion of the 21st Forum of Ministers of Environment for Latin America and the Caribbean. This meeting is an important opportunity for our region to demonstrate an unequivocal commitment to environmental sustainability and to set forth our vision to pursue this objective through national, regional and global measures. Already, there are successes to be shared and lessons to learn from across the two regions. And while that knowledge exchange is invaluable, our greater objective is in envisioning how we can sustain our efforts and improve upon them in the face of myriad transnational challenges. Coming from a small island developing state, standing on the front line of environmental and economic challenges, I am acutely aware of the rapidly closing window of opportunity to secure the future of our people. That future is inextricably linked to the protection of our natural environment. For this reason, Belize is committed to continuing to protect assiduously our natural environment based on the principles of sustainability in full recognition of its integral value to our economic, social and environmental resilience. I wish to highlight some of the innovative approaches that Belize has undertaken to this end, as well as some of our unprecedented achievements to date. In 2017, my government completely overhauled its development planning process with the adoption of a Growth and Sustainable Development Strategy, GSDS. The GSDS merges our nationally agreed sustainable development goals with those of the global development agenda and provides a comprehensive planning framework to ensure that sector-specific strategies will deliver upon those goals over a medium to long-term trajectory. It includes a consultation and monitoring and evaluation framework to systematically assess implementation and correct course where necessary. Central to the GSDS is Belize's National Environmental Policy and Strategy, which extends to 2024. This strategy outlines key priority areas and takes an integrated approach to climate change, desertification, ocean and seas, forests and biodiversity, waste management and disaster risk reduction. It supports the development of robust policies and the necessary legislative frameworks to address challenges and opportunities in each of these areas having regard for our own unique vulnerabilities as low-lying coastal continental state with vulnerable ecosystems including coral reefs. Landmark policies that have emanated from that strategy include the National Climate Change Policy Strategy and Action Plan, a National Adaptation Strategy, a Low Carbon Development Strategy, and a National Climate Resilience Investment Plan. In the forestry sector, we have a Forest Policy and Implementation Strategy, which serves as enabling framework for, one, communities and indigenous peoples to participate in and benefit from sustainable forest management, two, payment for ecosystem services such as carbon storage and water catchment, and three, preventing deforestation in areas that are important for ecological connectivity, biodiversity, or ecosystem services. We have also enacted legislation to give effect to this wide range of policies. More recently, Belize has gained international recognition for its improvement to its legislation for the protection of mangroves, its ban on single-use plastics, and its definitive ban on offshore drilling. We are also counted amongst the global leaders in wildlife protection with our work in jaguar conservation, and we are considered a pioneer in early application of ecosystem-based management of coastal and marine resources. Our Managed Access Fisheries Licensing Program is a first for small-scale fisheries globally, and it is part of a larger approach to secure tenure for small-scale fishermen. Distinguished Delegates Belize is cognizant that these accomplishments may be time-bound if globally we fail to undertake measures to safeguard them. It is critical that through ministerial fora such as this one, we are able to champion integrated approaches across the global development agenda, taking into account what we endeavor to achieve at the national and regional levels. You can count on Belize's untiring efforts to drive regional and global policy for the implementation of the global sustainable development agenda and in so doing to aim for ambitious climate action, the reversal of biodiversity loss 
and to global agreement on an effective governance framework for the ocean and seas. We, in turn, look for your solidarity to address our particular needs and circumstances. In this regard, we would welcome your support to the accelerated implementation of the SIDS agenda and on the appointed date for the midterm review of the Samoa pathway in 2019. We would humbly welcome your firm commitment to SIDS. I thank you once again for this opportunity to share Belize's views, and I wish you a successful meeting.